Goa Alliance against CA, NRC, NPR has alleged that BJP government is panic-stricken and afraid to hold discussions on CA, NRC and NPR. The organization also slammed NRI Commissioner and BJP General Secretary Naren Savaikar for trying to instill fear of the police in those who are expressing their opinions. The alliance condemned the government, terming it oppressive. Mapsikars and Sahyog NGO had planned a rally on 18 January to protest against CAA, NRC and NPR. The rally was also supported by GACNN. Mapsa police had given permission to this rally. However, an organization took objection to the meeting and Mapsa Municipal Council subsequently revoked the permission granted for the meeting. GACNN has alleged that this is a move to snatch freedom of speech from the people. A delegation of alliance against CAA, NRC, NPA today went to MAPSA and gave its memorandum protesting and putting ahead objection to the action of MAPSA Municipal Council in denying the freedom of expression to the people who wanted to put up their view before the public of MAPSA. When our delegation spoke to deputy collector, he said that since MMC and police had withdrawn their, their uh, permissions, he had to withdraw his permission. We condemned this action of MMC and authorities because by doing this, you are curtailing the freedom of expression of people. A youth from Ponda Kastub Naik has expressed his happiness in a tweet after anti-CAA NRC in Ponda. Later, Narendra Savaikar retweeted warning him to initiate police action. Watch GACNN reaction to it. Kastub Naik, which said that it is so heartening that so many people have uh, marched against CAA and he said this has happened in, the, uh, in my hometown Ponda and he said that in, he is happy that it has happened in my hometown Ponda which is also, he said this, which is also, not only, which is also the hotbed of Hindutva terrorism and houses the infamous Sanatan Saustas headquarters. And what happens after he tweets that? He, there is a response from Narendra Savaikar. He responds and says this, such abusive and insulting language about people of Ponda and Ponda Mahal should be dealt with by the police. This is nothing but an indirect, but a, but a threat. It is very heartening that this should happen. So he is congratulating that people, you also have people of Ponda, you have a diversity of people in Ponda. And it is heartening that those people who stand for secularism, who stand for citizenship rights, who stand for rights, human rights, are standing up and coming forward. Our video journalist is a Sheikh from Panji.